Christops is a developer in the Apple Technologies ecosystem. He's been an active contributor to the Swift Weekly News Brief, uh, a newsletter and open source projects. Uh, he's a co-founder, actually I'm gonna start that again because I stumbled over the Swift uh, Weekly Brief. Christops is a developer in the Apple Technologies ecosystem. He's been an active contributor to the Swift Weekly Brief, newsletter and an open source uh, projects contributor. He's co-founder of QMinder with such clients as Uber, Lyft, at and Bolt, and the Olympic Games. So Christops, tell me a little bit more about yourself now that I've, you know, set the stage a little bit. Well, briefly, I can tell that I'm really active in Swift community. So I try to share uh, uh, writing blog posts. So my goal is to write at least one blog post per month. And also I help to run uh, many open source projects, like uh, one of the most popular WebSocket uh, library, Starscream. Uh, mm -hmm. I help out with uh, GraphQL, uh, various Arc Swift community projects. And also I help, uh, I co-curate a uh, weekly brief, Swift weekly brief with my mm -hmm. friend Buzz Brook. So mm -hmm. we uh, send information what's happening in open source Swift to community every second week. So it's not weekly brief, but uh, there is a twist. So uh, no, it's it's weekly enough, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is. so these these are the things. And apart from that, I'm uh, developing apps and solutions for uh, Apple platforms, and uh, not only. So, but my core competency is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you feel about the new WebSocket support in uh, NSURL session? Uh, actually, I had chance to be in WWDC uh, last year. And, uh, you know, there's a slide where they show all the rest of the technologies. There was like Swift UI, Catalyst, and all these things. And there was with small letters, URL web, uh, session WebSocket task. And I was like, what? Ah, okay. But actually, I uh, already knew that it's coming because uh, my good friend, Guy Rambo, he mm -hmm. whispered in my eye in uh, one of the IRS conferences, uh, uh, ear, in uh, one of the conferences, hey, uh, the, it, this is coming also for WatchOS because I actually wanted uh, WebSocket support for WatchOS, uh, some, mm -hmm. some, some, some of my projects. So I immediately when they presented after the WWDC keynote, I went uh, not only not to check out Swift UI, but I actually went out to check uh, WebSockets. So, uh, so yeah, it, I'm really happy. Although, you know, it's only for latest, uh, latest version. So that's, uh, but that, that's, that's fine. Like uh, in a couple of years, I think it, it will be. But everybody develops for iOS 13 only now, right? Oh, so and so. We still need to support at least minus one version. So uh, <laughs> in in some scenarios, like, but uh, uh, I think it's finally WebSocket support is there after all these years. Mm -hmm. I think that was the biggest uh, shift for me when I left Apple was having to support old versions of the OS. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, tell me, what's your talk going to be about at UICOM? So we're going to talk about WebSockets, so mm -hmm. in general. Ah, and okay. uh, uh, I have been dealing with WebSockets quite a lot uh, last four, five, I think even five, uh, like five years, six years, mm -hmm. uh, building various solutions. Uh, and the, the biggest application was for actually for Apple TV. Uh, but it's pretty similar uh, technologies there as well, like for iPhone. And uh, when I started the project, I didn't know anything about WebSockets. But then I kind of uh, learned by time. And uh, actually, in learning process, I took over uh, at some point the uh, Starscream WebSocket uh, library, mm -hmm. which is powering, I think, nearly 50,000 applications and even more. Wow. So releasing a version for that was quite uh, stressful, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, like I, like I said, I... I learned a lot uh, what are WebSockets, what are WebSocket like uh, frames, and we will learn what is WebSockets because most of the folks don't know where we can use it in, in uh, what kind of scenarios. And also uh, how we can use on Apple platforms like iPhone, even server-side Swift. I will talk about that uh, briefly as well. So in general, in Swift language. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so, and I will show also a small demo, which is, uh, uh, kind of uh, secret right now, but it will be interesting. All right, all right. Um, so, so what major things do you think your audience is gonna take away from the talk? 
Uh, I think WebSockets now is kind of thing what folks don't know what it is. So I think uh, there's huge potential, especially for real time uh, applications, because nowadays everything is like real time. You get uh, updates, notifications, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty important. And I think uh, uh, you can get uh, out of my talk like ideas if you don't know what are WebSockets or maybe learn something new because I will check. I will also show uh, some third party libraries. Also this URL session, uh, session WebSocket mm -hmm. task uh, just built by Apple. So we'll, we'll see a, a lot. I will cover a lot in the presentation. So I think you will have f uh, uh, a full grasp what are WebSockets, how you can use. And uh, I will share some codes after uh, it as well. So you can That's get uh, up and running. Yeah, WebSockets are one of those things where like I've I've been itching for a good reason to use them, right? Um, the the idea of having that real time data in yeah. the client app is so fantastic, but all the stuff I work on is is much more. It lends itself better to REST, where yeah. it's, I just want this data. Let me have this data, and and I'll display it to the user. Um, I I often wish I worked on on the sort of thing that would lend itself to the back and forth yeah. with a chat, chat kind of app or something. Chat and also one good example nowadays uh, in this situation, uh, for instance, you order food with this uh, delivery oh, yeah. service and there is contactless delivery, right? You want to know when your food has been left right to your doorstep and you warm. want to enjoy while it's still warm. And yeah. this can be done through uh, WebSockets as well. So you can actually follow uh, like, Uber Eats driver or whatever you yeah. have in your country. So yeah, chat is a good example as well. So uh, we're using actually WebSocket a lot, even not knowing uh, about it, I yeah. would say. Because warm food's better than cold food. Definitely. I mean, if it's supposed to be warm anyway. Yeah, if it's sushi, then, then maybe. Or exactly. Yeah. I know somebody who would like sushi, right? Sushi. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kristaps. Um, I'm really looking forward to your talk. Um, I'm uh, uh, hoping that uh, we can connect online and, and hang out in, the, in one of the speaker chat rooms. Um, yeah. And uh, I hope you're having a great time there in, in, at home, locked away in the, in the safety where uh, the yeah. evil virus can't get us. Um, and uh, I hope you take care. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, and I, I think this uh, UI conf will be great. I have been attending before in person. Of course, we cannot uh, attend uh, in person this year, but I know uh, folks who are organizing them. I know them personally. They are doing a lot to make this uh, conference happen and in this large scale. So I think uh, it will be great and let's enjoy it together. Absolutely. Look forward to it. Yeah.